Hello, Tommy Keen fans. Travis Myers here with my beautiful sister, Natasha Myers Marsaguero. And we are the authors of Sister Margaret, Hayden John Marshall, and Jenny Black. The newest in the Tommy Keen series. And today we have more, another Q&A of questions from you, our lovely, lovely fans. We are so amazed with the response that we've received from Absolutely. the Tommy Keen books. Amazing. Amazing. We are so grateful to all of you, our fans. And if you're ready, we should get started. I am ready. Ask okay. away. Okay. Read away. So this one is from Ivy Portman from Greenville, North Carolina, who asks, I'm enjoying getting to know Tommy more and more as this series unfolds. I love the crimes and the investigations, but it's the man and his life that I, that I think really attracts me to this series. And I'd like to know if we'll ever learn more about Tommy's childhood and what made him who he is. Good question, Ivy. Very good I question. think the answer in general is yes. Um, we give, try to give little glimpses of Tommy's life in every story, I think. And slowly more and more we'll be adding more about his life as well as some, well, well, I don't know. You tell. I'd be the rest. You mean like the short stories and the other novels that are coming out? Yes. Okay, yes. So we have planned um, a couple of books of short stories. Uh, one is going to be about the neighborhood and where Tommy grew up. And the other one will be about, um, you know, young Tommy Keene is a, a cop, a patrol cop in the Bronx. Right? Okay, yeah. That's yeah. about it. So. Okay, question number two. Number two. This one is from Sean, a.k.a. Mostly Crime Sean, out of New York City, who wants to know, I love the cover art, and who comes up with it? I know, isn't it great, Sean? We love it, too. Um, how it works is we come up with an idea, and we give it to this awesome artist from Connecticut named Fred Rolls, and he just takes that idea and turns it into the covers that you see. Um, we think he's amazing, and we get so, so many compliments on his work. Yeah, we, we really like Fred. We're very, very happy with Fred. We're so happy that we found him. Um, and really, like Natasha says, we give, him, we give him ideas, and he runs with it, and he comes back with this kind of cool, noir, you know, stuff. Um, it's phenomenal. If, if you like his stuff, check him out at, um, I believe it's thefredguy.com. But it's, he spells it P-H-R-E-D instead of F-R-E-D. I think it's okay. that Fred guy. Isn't that what I said? That Fred guy. Oh. But that's okay. I don't know. It's the, that, that I think it's guy. that Fred guy. He's right. I'm wrong, as usual. So. But, but, All right. Okay. credit where credit's due. Okay. The next one is from Kara Meany, and she's from Dublin, Ireland. Ooh. Who asks, I am madly in love with Tommy, but also have grown fond of many of the other side characters such as Roya Sahardi and Gil Nunez, both of whom were absent from the last Jenny Black novel, and she wants to know, will either of them revisit? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I want to answer that question, really. <laughs> I hate to give anything away. What do you right. think? <laughs> well, I, um, I'll tell you what, Kara. I think we can safely say, without giving anything away, that yes, you will see more of Roya and Gil in the future as well as a whole bunch of other characters. Um, but you know, not everybody can make it into every story because that's not real life, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. So I think you cool. that. Okay. One more? One more? Okay. Well, here's one from Jen. Cool. Jen from Jen's Gem Book Stop wants to know, do you ever see Tommy leaving New York City for a case? And in the last one, he went to upstate New York and Connecticut. But I mean, like to Europe or maybe someplace exotic. It's exotic. That would be super cool. Huh? Um, I don't know how that would work out, but that might be a fun. Thing. Well, what, what do you think? Um, it is possible. So everything is possible. All right. I've known, uh, you know, real detectives who have, uh, you know, left the state, left the country. Um, I have a good friend that went to Europe. I have a very, very good friend who uh, made it to the Middle East twice on different cases. Um, I don't see it right now happening for Tommy Keene. Um, the cases that we have, you know, coming out, uh, they're all New York City cases. But it's always a possibility, so you never know. Okay. Never say never. Never say never. Right. <laughs> Plus, maybe we can get a trip out of it. Oh, that would be fun. You have to do I your like research. That. You got to do your research. Yes. <laughs> exactly. 
That would be cool. Okay, this one is from Michelle, AKA Mitchie Reads from Cranston, Rhode Island. And she asked, I was happy to see Tommy have a little fling in the last book, Jenny Black, but want to know if he will find true love. What do you think, big brother? Is Tommy gonna? Well, I tell you, um, Michelle, Michelle, right? Mm -hmm. um, Michelle, Tommy, his true love is his ex-wife, Cookie. He's still madly in love with her. Um, but I do see in the future, okay, because he, Tommy is a very charming guy, okay, and he's got a big, big heart, so I can certainly see, I, I know for a fact, that there will be um, some real romance, meaningful romances in his future. How's that? That's good. Is that good? That's a good answer. Without giving anything away? Nothing was given away then, no, right? No. Okay. Okay. So yes, something will be coming. Something will be. Okay, this one is from Betty, a.k.a. Betty Book Page from Pacific Grove, California. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And she asks, I love this series so much, and I've noticed each book is a little longer than the previous one. Sister Margaret, a really fast-paid read at less than maybe 200 pages. And than. Jenny Black, a slower, more methodical read at about 330 pages. Oh, I'm sorry. Right? Oh. Um, she says, I love them all, but I'm just curious if there is a trend and what we can expect um, in the future. Well, I think that's more of a you question. What do you think, Jack? A lot of me questions today. Sorry. But, um, <laughs> well, whatever we write is what we write. The story lands where it lands. Um, and what I mean by that is exactly that. You know, you, you only have, we just want to tell the story. So you won't find any filler nonsense in our books. We don't get paid by the word or by the page. You know, however many pages it, tells, it takes to tell the story, that's what it takes to tell the story. Now, in particular with Jenny Black, um, you know, that was, half of that book was, was just trying to figure out who Jenny Black was. She was a, a, a Jane Doe, and Tommy had no idea who she was. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of the book was actually trying to find out what caused her death. Um, so that one was particularly long because it was a two-part investigation, if you will. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I find that exact. Um, it is really, to me, it read as two almost separate investigations. One, we have to find out who Correct. who she is in the first place before they can go ahead and try and find out what happened to her. Correct. So, yeah. Yes. Which is, you know, very true to life, too. Quite often, you don't know where cases are going to take you. And in that particular case, it was a Jane Doe. It was uh, uh, a missing person who was not reported missing that you had to find out who she was. And it took quite a while to get to that. So, but. Okay. So yes, we never know where it's gonna end up in the end. Yes. Okay, this one is from Jean Michaels from Beth Page, Long Island. And she wants to know, she is says she's really in love with Tommy Keene and his adventures and wants to know how many more books will be coming out. So what do you think we want to tell her? Well, first, we are so super happy that you love Tommy Keene. Mm -hmm. um, and is, if you keep reading them, we'll keep writing them. That's how simple that is. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good answer. You know? Um, but to be a little bit more accurate, we do have two more Tommy Keene novels in the works right now, as well as a couple of side novels. Um, we've dubbed them Keene's World Novels, and they're stories not directly related to Tommy Keene himself, but more of the characters, side characters that have been mentioned, um, and we think, you know, more of the, the world around him, I guess. Yeah. We think they're going to be really fun additions um, to you, for you, our fans, and kind of maybe fill out the whole world in the Yorkville world. Yeah, itself. um, we've had actually, uh, uh, different requests, different people asking similar questions, and, um, the idea with the Keen's World stories are we're going to take some of the side characters that are very popular and expo uh, explore their lives, explore, the, you know, the neighborhood, much like we mentioned before about the short stories, that question that was, I don't know, three or four before, um, where, uh, Keen's World is going to move out, you know, from Tommy Keen himself into other parts. Like, again, the neighborhood, other detectives, other uh, people and characters. And I think it's going to be an interesting departure. I think it's going to be cool, and hopefully you guys will love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you got next? No next. That's no it next, for that's now. It. That's it okay. for now. Well, thank we you wanna, so much. Yes, thanks to everybody who wrote in. Um, if you didn't quite hear your question here, it's, we either maybe answered it in another Q&A or it was possibly similar to the ones that we answer now. Um, but please, please, please keep, keep keep them coming. Keep asking those questions. Yes, we, we, love, love, we love hearing from you. Uh, thank you so much for reading. Um, and we have more to come. Thanks again. Okay. Bye.